Absolutely, Jen, a huge decision in the race for mayor here in the capital city. Three candidates ended up getting nominated for the endorsement, but though only one could win the endorsement, ultimately it will be up to voters who the next mayor will be. The Hartford Democratic Town Committee voting to endorse Arunan Arulampalam for mayor. For this town committee to support me uh, and, and to back me as, as a standard bearer of this party, I think shows where the city is, that we're ready to come together, that we're ready to have one voice and one vision for our future. Arulampalam, CEO of the Hartford Land Bank, beat the two other nominated candidates Monday evening. State Senator John Fanfara and former State Senator Eric Coleman. Well, I'm pretty much expected tonight to go the way it did, and I'm looking forward to going the, going forward. The politicians have spoken. Uh, I'm very eager to see what the people will say. The candidates all vying to be the next leader of the capital city and looking ahead to the next steps in the process to get there. My campaign is composed of a lot of very hardworking, dedicated people. We've already been spoke phone banking and door knocking. I've lived in this city all my life and we deserve better. City Hall has to, city government has to take on the fundamental challenges of our city. Well, we've already hit the ground running. You know, we, we're knocking on doors, we're talking to people one-on-one. -on -one. I think we've got a groundswell of support out there uh, and that's what led to this nomination. Current Mayor Luke Bronin is not seeking re-election. He addressed the Democratic Party Monday evening reflecting on his time in office. We've been through a lot over the last eight years. Uh, we went from near bankruptcy to recovery to a global pandemic to a new recovery. And calling for unity regardless of who the next mayor is. But when the politics ends, it's time to pull together and move forward as one Hartford and keep this city moving forward. Now, in addition to the two who received a nomination but not the endorsement, there are several other candidates running for Hartford mayor. All of them have until August 9th to collect enough signatures to end up on the ballot for the primary in September. Live in Hartford, Gabby Molina, Fox 61, Connecticut's news station.